Get ready for a mass infusion of energy and enthusiasm. Individuals, couples, and teams competing to represent the United States in the World Finals later this year. It's a showcase of stamina, strength, and conditioning from the best aerobic athletes in America. Hello everyone, I'm Greg Lewis along with Mr. Fitness himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Aerobics for the first time in the Schwarzenegger Classic. You've got to like this one. Greg, I love aerobics. I think it is just fantastic because it does not just require strength. It requires tremendous endurance, energy, explosive power, flexibility. You have to have everything in order to do those kind of performances. But you, see for yourself. Catch your breath. Aerobics, coming up. Classic Worldwide Productions proudly presents the Arnold Schwarzenegger International Championship Series, bringing you the thrill of world-class sports competitions. Witness the strength, grace, agility, and stamina of these extraordinary athletes as their dedication and determination comes down to one defining moment. When they reach for the dream of becoming the best in the world. Today's competition features the Arnold Schwarzenegger World Aerobic Championships USA Finals. Combining the athleticism of sports with the choreography of dance, flexibility, strength, mobility, and originality. They are the marks of these great competitors and their stunning routines. And now let's meet our finalists in the mixed pairs competition. From Los Angeles, California, C.J. Ackman and Eric Hubert. From New Jersey, Elaine Alfano and Dale Duncan. From Tampa, Florida, the husband and wife team of Sandy and Grant Brazier. Now turning to the finalists in the individual women's competition. From Miami, Florida, Janine Esquire. From Phoenix, Arizona, Patricia Jasinski. From Spanish Fort, Alabama, Stephanie Coleman. From Queensbury, New York, Toby Gifford. From Laguna Niguel, California, Teresa Davis. And in the men's individual finals, from Los Angeles, California, Don Hustler. From New York City, New York, Ken Berkeley. From Seattle, Washington, Bill Sanchez. From Plantation, Florida, Renzo. And our team competition finalists include from Los Angeles, California, Michelle Navadomsky, Carolee Lissick, and Dawn Hill. From Chicago, Illinois, here's Vince Abalone, Jorge Del Busto, and Victor Finley Brown. And finally, from Tampa, Florida, Vicki Dubois, Heather Parker, and Kelly Yakaba. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to Columbus, Ohio, all of our 1997 finalists in the World Aerobic Championships USA Finals. Welcome inside Veterans Memorial for the World Aerobics Championships USA Finals. I'm Greg Lewis along with Mr. Fitness himself, Arnold Schwarzenegger, and the man who created this sport of aerobics competition, Howard Schwartz. Let's uh, talk to you first, Arnold. Uh, how are your aerobics these days? Well, terrific. I work out every day. You know, I love aerobics. I always believed in strength training, flexibility training, and aerobics training. But this competition, of course, goes way beyond of what I have ever done, to be honest with you. This is really incredible when you watch this, and you will see it's the most impressive thing that I've ever seen. Tell us what we're going to see tonight. Well, we're really excited to be here at Arnold's Fitness Classic, and tonight we're going to see four different competitions in four categories. The mixed pairs competition, the teams of three competitions, men's individual and women's individual uh, competition. Now these are the best sport aerobic athletes in the United States and they're all vying for the possibility to be part of Team USA. 
seven athletes will be selected to represent the United States at the 1997 World Aerobic Championship this year. It's the ninth year of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Championships, but the first year that aerobics has been in the competition. What, what made you decide to bring it on? Well, I think it's just over the years I've watched aerobics championships, uh, number two, uh, aerobics uh, uh, teachers from across the country have helped me when I was the chairman of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports to train people and to make people in this country fit. So I'm a big believer in aerobics. I believe in what the, what the instructors are doing. Now they're competing amongst each other. It's t terrific to see that the, the performances are staggering. So I wanted to have it part of the Arnold's Classic and that's the first time. Tell us a couple of the uh, competitors that we should watch for. Okay, well, I think uh, first we're going to be starting off in the mixed pairs category. Always very, very exciting is Grant and Sandy Brazier. Now, Grant and Sandy Brazier are the first times ever that we've had a husband and wife team or pair. So they're going to be uh, giving it all they've got, and they are very trained, and they are very good. Uh, three time uh, defending, successfully defended their world championship. And then against them we have uh, Elaine Alfano, who with her new partner Dale Duncan, she is the current world aerobic champion in the women's division. So we're going to see some good competition in this mixed pairs division. We'll see some great competition. Now let's go out and check in with our floor reporters who are going to be giving us the behind the scenes stories to Bray Berensfeld and Jack Corrigan. Jack, what's the story from your position? The leaders in the team competition heading into the finals and uh, ladies obviously there's a lot of pressure to to perform in a venue like this but talk about the fact that it's the trials as well. It is the world trials and the winners progress on to the world championship which will be held in Anaheim in July so we're all excited. What about the afternoon performance? What made the performance so good for you, for the team? Uh, we felt really good um, about our whole routine but we had some elements that we know that we can do better tonight and that's our goal to do a great routine tonight. So what is the key? What are some of the elements? What's going to put this team over the top? For us, um, usually what people tell us is our synchronization and just something that we have to offer to the audience. And it, what's neat for us is being three women, we usually have to compete against three men. And so having like a skill level that matches theirs is kind of exciting for us, um, kind of validating as us, for us. Well, they had a great afternoon session. They want to finish it off by winning the championship here tonight. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you, Jack. All right. We'll be back with more from the Arnold Schwarzenegger International Championship Series when we return to Veterans Memorial in Columbus, Ohio. Please welcome C.J. Ekman and Eric Hubert. The competition begins with C.J. Ekman and Eric Hubert of Los Angeles, California in the mixed pairs. Here we go, here we go now. What are the judges looking for here, Howard? Well, they're going to be looking for uh, some good aerobic content as well as strength and flexibility and consistent execution between the couple. It's very important that they compete at the same level. Synchronicity, obviously important. Absolutely, and of course, the one-arm push-up is showing the balance on both sides, which is quite important as well. CJ is a former United States champion in the team division. We can see the size difference between these two. CJ is only five feet tall and 94 pounds. Yeah, she is a spirit out there. Length of the routines? One minute and 50 second total routine. I should point out also, this is a very young mixed pair. They're only two months training together. But it wouldn't show the way they are performing here. They come into the finals in third position from this afternoon's semi-final round. Again, the winner in each category will go on to the World Championships. World Championships in Los Angeles this year. C.J. Ekman and Eric Hubert. Once again, in this competition, strength is a very important element, and they will be judged probably very highly for their technical score in the uh, strength section here. Here, good symmetry. Good symmetry, and also the judges are looking for the height of those leg kicks and the alignment of their body positions. Here we go, here we 
Good strong ending. It's the only time when the athlete may lift the other athlete is at the end. Well, C.J. Ekman and Eric Hubert backstage appear to be happy. Elaine Alfano and Dale Duncan, the next pair in the mixed pairs competition, start off with a big strength move. Look at this, Dale Duncan supporting himself and his partner. Elaine Alfano is the current world aerobic champion in the women's division. This year deciding to go with a partner in the mixed pairs, picking Dale Duncan, former team champion with CJ Ekman, who he's now competing against in this mixed pair category. She is also a five-time NCAA gymnastics champion. She's a great competitor and a great mom. Her little daughter is out in the audience watching her now. And I love it. These two athletes are technically well matched and they execute very difficult moves as we see here. Well, Dale Duncan certainly feels the music well. He has a Master of Music degree. Right, in fact, he puts together some of the music for some of the other competitors in the competition, too. You are popping that music! Woo! Again, let's talk quickly about the key things that the judges are looking for. Strength, flexibility. Strength, flex flexibility, execution of movement and of course the overall difficulty score. I should point out that Dale and Elaine had the highest difficulty score of any of the mixed pairs going into tonight's competition. The judges will award four points for the performance, the artistic interpretation, four points for technical, and two points for difficulty, so a possible of ten. Elaine Alfano and Dale Duncan. Well, once again, this is a difficult move for the two of them to do, and especially synchronize the way they've done it. It takes a lot of choreography and a lot of hard work to be able to pull it off the way they have. Can't forget again how important performance is in the routines tonight, and these two really do shine out there. Elaine Alfano, Dale Duncan. And now, we'd have to say everyone's favorites based on their performance record, Sandy Brazier and her husband, Grant. Grant and Sandy also qualified in 1995 and 1996 for the World Aerobic Championship, so this will be the third time if they win tonight. They are the three-time U.S. champions, 95, 96, 97. Three weeks ago, they won the national title for the third year. Do you think it helps that they are man and wife? Does it bring some special kind of magic to their partnership? Well, for these two, I have to say yes. They live for this competition. In fact, uh, they spend so much time in the gym working out daily that uh, you're going to see here in this competition, experience counts. Every year they try to surprise us with a little something. This year they came out as brunettes. And last year I think the natural hair color was blonde. Well, they're living now in Florida. Sandy originally from Buffalo. Grant from London. Sandy uh, certainly used to performing in front of a crowd before she got into this sport. She was the world baton twirling champion. Grant competed for many years individually until he met Sandy, and then finally when he met Sandy, that's when they really became U.S. champions and qualified for the world. <laughs> now, these two really do show fantastic showmanship and artistic presentation, so their scores and artistic presentation will be very high. Exceptional synchronicity in the mixed pair team as well. They currently rank sixth in the world.
scream of delight and a kiss of joy, Sandy Brazier and Grant Brazier, three-time U.S. champions. Once again, one-arm push-ups, adding an extra element there. Again, you can see balance. Both arms must show the same degree of strength. Flexibility, alignment, and the height of the leg kick is important. You see at all times Grant's body remains on the floor when he lifts Sandy. That's one of the criteria. The only time you can, Grant can be off the floor is at the end. Sandy and Grant Brazier, the final pair in the mixed pairs competition. What a pair they were. We'll return to Veterans Memorial for the World Aerobics Championships USA Finals women's competition. Stay with us. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio for the continuation of our coverage of the World Aerobics USA Championship. Next competitor, Stephanie Kuhlman. And when you look at her name, K-U-H-L-M-A-N-N, -N, you ask the phonetic pronunciation, she writes, cool, man, and she is cool. Stephanie describes herself as an over 30 mom. She has a, a little a child at home and uh, has great, great support from her family and friends who influence her, influence her a great deal in this competition. From Jupiter, Florida, a very strong background in gymnastics, and we see a move there that is very much out of gymnastics. She was nationally ranked U.S. gymnast, a team member of the NCAA National Championship gymnastics team. Then she went into bodybuilding and has now really found a good home for herself in aerobics competition. Right, she's, she's very comfortable on stage uh, at this competition, and uh, uh, she actually found the sport through, uh, through television. She saw one of her former uh, competitors in gymnastics competing, which happened to be Elaine Alfano, and she's following her footsteps and hopes to win the World Aerobics Championship. Stephanie Coolman, just uh, four feet, ten inches tall. Is size a factor at all? Actually, I, I, I think that uh, the smaller the size, the easier it is for some of the maneuvers that the athletes have to do on stage. Execution of moves again here. Look how beautifully she executes these uh, these push-ups. As we said, she's great technically. The one one area that uh, that Stephanie needs a little help in is uh, is the presentation and showmanship. That's one area the judges have always felt that uh, that she definitely needs to work on a little bit. Stephanie Kuhlman from Jupiter, Florida. again. What, look at the height that she gets on that leap in the air. Most impressive and will score her highly with the judges. Strength always a factor here and once again a good technical move that she'll, go, she'll score highly on there too. Balance. One, one leg balance with a double twist. A single twist I should say. Certainly we can see the gymnastics background in her performance. Yes it, it does come out and it's quite helpful for her. Stephanie Coleman. Beautiful tonight here in Columbus, Ohio with that routine. Our next competitor comes from Queensbury, New York. Would you please say hello to Toby Kipper? Now the 1996 champion and next she hits with that salute. She says, watch out, this is Toby Gifford from Queensbury, New York. Toby is a mom with two teenage daughters at home, has a very, very full schedule, takes them to gymnastics classes on a weekly basis, and still finds time to train and look as great as she looks. You talk about training, she says she trains six days a week, two to three hours a day. Well, I wouldn't doubt it, and she is truly a professional at the sport. Every movement that she makes, she really works on, and, and uh, you can see it in the way she looks and, and the way her routine looks as well. An individual competition like that, when she's the 96th national champion, do you think that gives her a little psychological advantage over some competitors? There's no question this gives her a psychological advantage. When we saw her compete last year to win the championship, her biggest problem was showmanship. Now she comes out there and she feels the aerobics from within, and that's when you have the makings of a good champion. 
She's very natural out there and she feels very comfortable. That's the most important aspect of it for her. Presentation again, equally as important as technical skills. And I'm sure the judges will feel that Toby has done a good job tonight in that presentation portion for routine. Toby Gifford, the 96 champion, and showmanship, if it was a problem in the past, certainly wasn't a problem tonight. You see with, with Toby, she has a good balance of strength and flexibility in all of her moves, and that we've seen throughout the entire routine. So again, the choreography is important to the routine. She'll score in the jumps, leaps, and turns area. Flexibility, high leg kicks. High leg kicks are one of the compulsory elements in these routines, high leg kicks and push-ups. And she just exudes energy, Toby Gifford. Teresa Davis from Laguna Niguel, California. Now from Laguna Niguel, California, Teresa Davis. Teresa has the highest difficulty score going into this routine tonight. And watch her, watch how explosive her jumps are. Again, a good balance of strength and flexibility. Look how easy she moves into that and, and, and lands. That's the most important for the judge is the landing. Push-ups with a little twist there. Always nice use of the music. Absolutely, and always gleaming extra points. Every little part that you can add to the routine, every, it's simple, like a simple push-up and make it a little more complex, you're scoring more points. Again, four points for artistic interpretation, four points for technical merit, and two points for difficulty. Six judges? Six judges. But high and low score, not discarded not in this competition. There she goes, a double twist and it was fabulously executed. When she's on, she's on. She's also the current Miss National Fitness Champion. She won that award in, in June, I believe. She loves competition and loves fitness. Teresa Davis in her individual performance. Now let's go down to DeBray Berensfeld. Teresa, that was awesome. How'd you feel about your performance? I felt very good. Very, very good. Very happy. How many years have you been doing this? The aerobics for two years and uh, Miss Fitness competition for five. That, oh, you're awesome. It was really great. Thank you very much. Was there anything you thought you could have done better or did, were you just perfectly happy? I, I was pretty happy. <laughs> I think everybody was happy. That was great. Thank you. Good luck. Thanks. Coming up next, the powerful and exciting men's individual competition in the Arnold Schwarzenegger World Aerobic Championship USA Finals. Stay with us. We're back with more of the Arnold Schwarzenegger World Aerobic Championship USA Finals. Our next competitor is from New York City, New York. From the Big Apple, Ken Berkeley. He has a very unique spinning performance that we're going to see. Very new, unique. If he does it, we'll see a double spin, which is only one of three athletes in the entire world who can do this move. We'll watch for it in just a moment. 97 national bronze medalist, so he's had a good start to the year. 
power. Beautiful move, beautiful strength. Very few athletes even try that move. Yeah, he's come on very big like this. There we go, there's that double spin we told you about. Into a push-up. Of course, the landing, once again, is quite important. He loves the performance aspect of this. Of course, the dance and aerobic portion of it, very important. As you can see, he really fills his routine with, with moves. It is non-stop action for Ken Berkeley. Good job on that one. You know, he could take this out on the corner of Madison <laughs> Avenue in New York City and uh, fill a hat with a lot of dollar bills right away. Knowing him, he's probably already done it. <laughs> there he goes again. One arm, one leg push-ups, both sides showing equal balance of strength, flexibility. He has a little problem with flexibility. I think that's one of the areas that he needs to develop a little bit further in this routine. But good job, Oliver, good, good job. Well, if I can take us back in time, Chubby Checker would have enjoyed Ken Berkeley because this man can do the twist. And you were fabulous, the explosive double turn there. Um, how about your landing? How'd you feel about that? It was a little sloppy. I think that was the only yeah. thing, though, huh? Yeah, it felt, everything felt really good. I felt on. I think you were on, yeah. too. You Thank were you. awesome. Thank you very much. Thanks. Phil Sanchez. Originally out of Texas and now from Seattle, Washington at 5'8", 150 pounds. One of the biggest competitors we've seen. Uh, actually, at 150 pounds, that's surprising to say that, but it, I guess it is true. And uh, he is a phenomenal uh, aerobic athlete. Showing equally, uh, equally important the aerobic portion of his routine as well as the technical side. He's the uh, former 1996 actually, uh, national men's champion, so uh, he decided not to defend his title to give him more time so that he could train for this competition. seeing the national finals on TV four years ago that motivated him to get involved in competition and uh, now he's not just involved, he's one of the best. He is the best, uh, again, 1996 champion. But watch him a little bit, you saw some of his, uh, his high leg kicks which showed the judges, again, the flexibility of the movement. And through the high leg kicks as a compulsory, the judges are able to assess one athlete against another. Why they keep that in as a compulsory move. Again, look at the way he's performing his push-ups. Very unique, very different more difficult, much more difficult to do it that way than the other way. Very, very comfortable on stage too. Phil is probably one of the most consistent athletes as far as the, uh, the execution technically. Bill Sanchez using both gymnastics and dance in his training. Bill Sanchez out of Seattle, Washington. Breathing hard and breathing happy. Please welcome Renzo. Competitor Renzo Cost, and he has uh, asked that he go by just the name of Renzo. 1997 aerobic champion. Renzo is probably the premier athlete in the men's division today. As you said three weeks ago, winning the U.S. Men's Championship. Extremely dynamic with his moves. Looking at his physique, you can see power. No, no question. And he works on that power. And of course, works on that physique. Amazingly, most of these athletes in high positions such as this have only been involved in the sport two to three years. We should commend you, Howard, for uh, putting this all together back in 1983 and for the good fortune of uh, having been on The Tonight Show with Arnold and uh, 
that's what put this all together, brought this into this event. And of course, we're very, very excited about that. We happened to meet Arnold at the White House during National Fitness Month uh, a few years ago and had a chance to uh, uh, meet with the champions, and uh, it's been great. We're very, very pleased to have been invited here uh, by Arnold and uh, at the Arnold Fitness Weekend. <laughs> Look at the strength and the height that he gets on high leg kicks. That's very important to the judges. Shows strength and flexibility. Look at that. He's really, really improved this year over the last. Much more control than ever before. He's currently ranked five in the world. Well, he'll have a chance, perhaps, to improve upon that because if he is the best here, he will be on his way to the World Championships. Renzo, the 97 USA Aerobic Champion. Okay. Let's look at the dynamics, the height that he gets on it, the strength. A little off in the landing. Let's go backstage and join Debray Berensfeld. Here we are with Renzo. This was Fantastic! Do you think you could have done that any better than you did? No, it was great. <laughs> it was great! I, I, I mean, I, you have always been a great performer, but that was phenomenal. Thank you very much. So this is it, huh? This is it. Hopefully I'll go to Worlds. Worlds is next? Yeah. Okay, good. Good for you. Thank Congratulations. You. Back to you, Greg. Thanks to Bray. Howard, your thoughts on Renzo's performance? He had great technical execution, good flexibility in his moves, and he had the control that he needed to needs to win this event. I believe that Renzo is the man to beat in this competition. Well, we'll find out shortly. When we return, it'll be team competition. If one aerobic performer is great, how about three? When we come back to Columbus, Ohio. Welcome back to the World Aerobic Championships USA Finals, the World Trials here in Veterans Memorial, Columbus, Ohio. Greg Lewis along with Howard Schwartz. The team competition begins. The team that we are watching here, Nevedomsky, Lysiak, and Hill. Well, what's exciting about team competition, more so than anything, is the synchronicity. We want these athletes to show equal amounts of strength, equal amounts of uh, flexibility, and all doing it at the same pace, same height. They've got to look the same as one for the judges. But this is a very new team. Michelle Nevedomsky, having been a former world champion, won um, 1992 the mixed pairs and took five years off, and now has come back, put these two ladies together. These are friends and, and they all teach aerobics together in Los Angeles and they decided to come back and doing a great job of it here. Now we can have three women or three men or any combination. Any combination of men and women and this is, has been one controversial aspect of the sport but yet we have proved many times that three women can beat three men in competition so we're going to see that tonight too. We have two teams here, uh, Michelle's team as you see here and our current U.S. champions, both three women. And then uh, we have another team that three men. We'll see what happens. A little off there. They need to do a little bit is to work on the consistency of their execution. Nevodonsky, Lisa and Hill. Well, let's go down now to Debray Berensfeld with the story backstage. Debray? Thanks, Greg. You know, um, we're back here, and the girls did a fabulous job, but Carol Lee here. What happened? I have a um, pulled glute. Right now, it's pretty painful. Yeah, very painful. <laughs> I pulled it in um, documentation, and I went on um, this morning when we did it, and I didn't think I'd be able to do it tonight, but I just wanted to do it. I wanted to be with my girls and just, just perform and just do it. <laughs> what a professional. You look great. You did perfect. I hope you feel better. Back to you, Greg. Thank you to Bray, Avalone, Finley Brown, and Del Busto on the stage now, a team of three men, and they are uh, of very different sizes. 
Uh, actually not. When, when you see them again, you see that pretty much they are about the same height, but they're very well synchronized. They have uh, equal uh, strength, equal power in their moves, and they've only been together for one year. Jorge Del Busto was in the, been in the United States for two and a half years, formerly of Argentina, where he competed for the team from Argentina. As you saw there, the flexibility moves, they are not that flexible in this routine, and that's the one area they can work on a little bit. It's interesting to compare the men against the women because it's usually that the women have higher flexibility levels, the men uh, stronger strength. Well, Vince Avalone has a degree in architecture, and they finished by building a pyramid. It's Avalone, Finley Brown, and Del Busto. Completing our team finals, here they are from Tampa, Florida, Vicky Dubois, Heather Parker, and Kelly Yagabak. Now the 96 and 97 U.S. Championship. Winners, three women, Dumois, Parker, and Yakaba. Too fierce? Vicky Dumois, Heather Parker, and Kelly Yakaba. All out of Florida now. So they have come from very different countries. Dumois from Spain. You'll see here very good synchronization as well as a good strong balance of strength and flexibility. These girls work it, they've been together for almost three years now and you can tell by this presentation. Again, look how beautiful they do the execution of the leg lifts. Great alignment. Beautiful timing. Unbelievable. And all of the moves so beautifully lay one into another. That's what's so nice about it. The transitions are excellent. Once again, four points for artistic interpretation, four points for technical merit, two points for difficulty, six judges possible. Total score, 60 points. These girls have competed in other international events and have successfully performed last year at the World Championship and scored fourth. Dazzling. Too fierce. Dumois, Parker, Yakaba. We will be back in a moment to see who the judges have decided will represent the U.S on Team USA for the World Championships. Stay with us. Welcome back to Veterans Memorial in Columbus, Ohio for the presentation of the championship crowns to our World Aerobics Championship finalists, USA Trials for the World. Everyone gathered on stage. Now we'll find out who the winners are. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome once again Arnold Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger now joins the competitors in the aerobic competition on stage. I just want to say to all of you, congratulations for such an outstanding job. This is not the first time that I've watched the aerobics championships. I've watched you many, many times. You've helped me a lot with, uh, when I was the chairman of the American, of the President's Council on Physical Fitness and Sports. You were right out there exercising with all the kids on the White House lawn. I don't know if you remember that, and I've become a big fan since then of this sport, and we are very happy to have you here in Columbus, Ohio. Congratulations. Thank you very much. 
So now, let's hear who won, okay? You betcha. The first category is the mixed pairs. For a total score of 7.09, representing the United States in the 1997 World Aerobic Championship in the Mixed Pairs Division will be Sandy and Grant Brazier from Tampa, Florida. Sandy and Grant Brazier will represent the USA in the World Championships. The husband and wife team picks up another title. And Howard, they are stunning. Can't beat them. They, they're training three years now, and the husband and wife team, they're right. wonderful together, and they'll represent us very well at World Championships. The next category is the individual women's champion representing the United States. In the women's individual competition, our 1997 champion from Queensbury, New York, Toby Gifford. Toby Gifford, the 96 women's champion has taken first place in the women's individual competition. Mother of two and so energetic. She is happy at this moment. The first time going to the world championship. The next category is the individual men's total score of 7.09. The men's individual title for the World Aerobic Championship USA Finals is awarded to Renzo from Plantation, Florida. Renzo, and as you suspected, Howard Schwartz, he has taken the title here and will represent the USA in the Worlds and no doubt will be dynamic there as well. The final category is the team competition representing the World Aerobic Championship for the USA in the team division. From Tampa, Florida, Kelly Yakabach, Heather Parker, and Vicki Dumois. The women champions, Dumois, Parker, and Yakabak. Current they U.S. Beat champions. the men, yes, they that, beat the men. Absolutely, and that's why we say it's not impossible. We've got some great male athletes out there, but these three women have us what it takes in all areas. These are your 1997 World Aerobic Championship USA finalists. The champions on stage. When we return, they'll be joined by Arnold Schwarzenegger for their thoughts on this event and the upcoming Worlds competition. And now, let's take a look at the final standings in today's championships. Welcome back to Columbus, Ohio. We have seen a great competition tonight, Howard Schwartz, in the aerobics event. Uh, the debut in Columbus uh, went very well. Oh, I think so. I think these champions were really motivated and very excited to be here tonight in, in Columbus and to be part of this great fitness extravaganza and to be here with Arnold more so than anything. Well, let's find out what their thoughts are. Let's join Arnold Schwarzenegger and our champions. Arnold? Well, thank you, Greg. Now, congratulations. You all are the winners. What is it like being here in Columbus, Ohio and just having won all those uh, awards? This is a wonderful opportunity to represent the aerobic sport um, and seeing um, how everybody comes together and everything. And um, it's great to see the, the, the other um, competitions going on too, which I've watched on TV and stuff. Right. So that's really good. Well, thank you. Tell me now. How do you train for something like this? I mean, it seems to me that it, uh, you use strength here, you use flexibility, speed, explosive power, I see. I mean, how do you train for something like that? Uh, Grant and I have been training for the past four months with um, Roberson Magalhães. He's a two-time world champion from the country of Brazil. And this will be our third trip to the World of Championships, representing the United States. And we're really thrilled, and we're thrilled to be a part of your weekend. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now let me ask you something here. How much does diet have to do with your training and with being in that kind of a shape that you're in so you can jump around and be so flexible? How much does diet have to do with all that? Diet is extremely important. It's a 24 hour a day battle that we always have to face and always watch what we eat. A lot of protein, a lot of carbs, very little fat. How many hours do you spend? It depends what we're working on, but usually anywhere from three to five hours a day. A day? Wow, <laughs> that, I think that this must really feel great for you to be a working, being out there an instructor, uh, aerobics instructor, training people, making them healthy and fit, and at the same time being able to compete in that sport. 
Yeah, it's great, and it kind of like um, they set their own their goals, we, and uh, I set mine, and we kind of work together. It's uh, we kind of, I mean, as an instructor, you can kind of understand when people set goals and try to achieve them, and you tr and you're doing the same thing. Um, it's it's helpful to be able to motivate other people as well as yourself. So. Well, congratulations to all of you. You're representing the United States now for the World Aerobics Championships. I, I wish you all good luck, and I hope you're all coming back. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, back to you, Greg. Thank you, Arnold. Well, uh, Howard Schwartz, it all began in 1983. This sport has come a long way. All the way from the aerobic studios and hopefully soon to the Olympic Games. We're just really thrilled, especially this weekend, to be part of the Arnold Fitness Weekend. It's such an excitement for us to be here and for the athletes, because we know that they really look forward to this opportunity to compete here tonight. It's special for them. You saw it in their faces when they competed tonight. And we're very, very optimistic and hopeful that they're going to do great this year at the World Aerobic Championship in Los Angeles. Quickly, you mentioned the Olympics. Uh, potentially in the future, we'll see this sport in the Games? Well, I think uh, the Olympics for this sport has great potential, and we're hoping to see it possibly in the year 2000. Maybe 2004 probably would be a little more, uh, uh, probably a little more probable, 2004. But uh, we will see it this year in the World Games, which will take place this summer in Lati, Finland. And, uh, and that's a first for sport aerobics. So there's a lot that we hope for, and we believe that a lot is coming true right now. Good. Again, congratulations. And Arnold Thank Schwarzenegger you. has joined us again. Are we ready now for the aerobics class tomorrow morning? You've got... Uh, I think about seven or eight instructors over here would like to put you through your paces. Well, I think that you and I tomorrow join them <laughs> <laughs> at five in the morning, of course, you know, to get up early in the morning and to get going with the whole thing. I'm ready. I'm ready. We're going to see this uh, sport come back to your Arnold Schwarzenegger classic, yes? Well, I hope so because I tell you, what I like about all of the things that we do here at the Arnold's Classic at the whole fitness weekend, if it is aerobic or if it's bodybuilding, all of those things are meant to inspire the millions of people out there that need inspiration continuously because it's very hard for the general public to really go out and train every day and be inspired. So those are kind of the vehicles for them to get inspired by, to watch those competitions and also go out and do some aerobics because there's really no other healthier way of, of getting in shape than doing some aerobics and working out a little bit with the weights and then you can look like studs like you and me. <laughs> I appreciate <laughs> exactly. your compliment. Well, that's the story from here for Arnold Schwarzenegger, Howard Schwartz, our correspondents on the floor, Bray Berensfeld and Jack Corrigan. I'm Greg Lewis. Thanks for joining us here in Columbus, Ohio. Bye-bye.